Happy Thursday, uh, January 26th. Uh, welcome to our uh, morning meditation. Um, my name is Wendy. Glad you're here joining me. And let us begin with prayer. We thank you this morning, Father, for the night that we had, for the sleep that we were able to receive. Uh, we are know that today is a new day. It is a new dawning and a new opportunity for us to meet you in so many different places. Be with us as we gather to meditate on your word and to give us a good start to the day ahead. In your name we pray. Amen. Our gospel uh, for this coming Sunday and actually for the next three Sundays um, is what is commonly known as the Sermon on the Mount. And so today uh, we're starting that it's going to be broken up into three different sections um, throughout the next few weeks. And so today it's uh, Matthew chapter 5. It is verses 1 through 12. And as I read them, they will become very familiar to you. It says, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So the Beatitudes... Um, all the blessings of uh, people. Um, and I think when I was growing up, um, I was taught that with the Beatitudes is that the rewards are in heaven. You know, because of that last line, your reward is great in heaven. And I think that that sometimes um, it gets lost then because we think that for those who are suffering, those who are um, weary here to on, here on earth, that they will receive nothing until such time as they meet God in heaven. I don't know that that's necessarily um, the full case. You know, I look at this as blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Um, it doesn't mean that as we mourn on earth, we won't find comfort until we reach heaven. It's when we mourn when we are sad, when things happen, and that if we seek God, we will be comforted. Blessed are those who meek, who are meek. It doesn't mean we can't have anything. It means that whatever we have, we acknowledge and we thank the Lord as our provider and that things come through him. If we act and do uh, things in the name of the Lord, we become peacemakers, we become seekers of justice and righteousness. When we do those things because it is God's will, we will receive his presence and his spirit here on earth. Um, I was reading the Luther Seminary God Pause. Um, if you haven't seen it, Go on the Luther Seminary website and they have a daily devotion called God Pause. And it follows, <clears throat> most of the time, I believe it follows our lectionary. So it's, so for today it was for Matthew 5, 12 and it's current and former seminarians and uh, teachers that write a devotional. And for today, the writer said that they look at this as a B-attitude. It's the B dash attitude. So it is how our attitudes should be and re even referenced it as kind of having an attitude check. 
as we go through life. And I really liked that because, again, it is one of those things where we will have uh, sorrow. We will have pain. We will have all kinds of negative things that can impact our life. And when those things happen, if we seek God, if we look to God, we will be comforted. We will find peace. We will find happiness and we will find tranquility in him through those times. He will be the calm in our storm. And when we act in his name, we will continue to be children of God and ambassadors of his light. And we will become enlightened to all that there is to have and to do in his name. Amen. Our, uh, <clears throat> my devotional that I'm using for, for 2023 uh, for today actually has my morning prayer from Matthew chapter 5, and it's specifically related to verse 9, for blessed are the peacemakers. And it says, Dear Lord, teach me that if I want the world to see me as your child, then I need to always work for peace in the world around me. Help me resist the temptation to stir up bitterness or anger among my family, friends, and neighbors. Take away angry words that may well up in the heat of the moment. Instead, teach me to be a peacemaker so that others can't help but acknowledge that you are living and active within me. That, to me, summed up the whole idea of the attitude check. When I start to feel those negative attitudes and those negative feelings, help me check it and become a child of God. Let us pray. In these times of epiphany, when we are opening our eyes to the world around us, Lord, we ask that you help us do an attitude check, that we don't allow negativity and uh, sorrow and depression to fill our spirits. Instead, we ask that your love, your graciousness, your peace, and your comfort fill our hearts, our minds, and our souls in its place. Lord, as we go throughout the day, let us Focus on being peacemakers in your word. Let us work to uh, bring unity to the world around us. Lord, there are those that suffer greatly, whether it is in mind, body, or spirit. We ask that your comfort, your healing hand wash over them. We lift up to you, Neil, Sandra. Dean, Cheryl, and Jane, may their recoveries uh, be quick, and may their uh, hearts be filled with your love. Lord, be with us today. Help us to see you in all things and in all places, as we unite together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, there are no church events until this coming Sunday when we have our services, uh, 9.30 at Fullness, 11 o'clock at Evangelical. Fullness will have their annual meeting following service, uh, and then I believe that we will be having a dinner provided. So um, there are some of us that are bringing foods, and so if um, you are able to join us, that would be great. Then... Uh, I want to wish a happy birthday today to Jesse Keel. 
May your day be filled with light and happiness and a very special happy birthday out to Leona Wadier. Uh, Leona, I, I know you've watched on occasion and I, if you're watching today, happy blessed birthday. I know that there are some celebrations planned for you today and we wish you all the joy and happiness and that your life, you're, uh, you're filled with uh, love and life today. Uh, that is it for me. I will be back with you again tonight at 830. Have a blessed day uh, for the remainder of this Thursday and hope all goes well for you. I'll see you again tonight at 830. Until then, bye-bye.